Hello everyone, how you doing? Welcome again to Tech UK, welcome to a bit of Cheeky Saturday, I haven't done a, a Saturday stream uh, for a while, a bit, I've been out, I've done all the jobs, my wife's got some work to do um, uh, for a uni and stuff, so I thought I'd stream for a couple of hours, and I thought, okay, what am I going to stream? And I thought, well, trucking, I've been doing trucking um, over the last couple of weeks, but it's been very mixed in with racing, it hasn't been like the main event as it were, and a couple of times I haven't even finished my journey before I get back on with racing so I thought I know what I'll do I will do some trucking just simply trucking we're gonna have some tunes in the background as well um, don't forget to watch in 2k I've been able to turn the I mean I was already running in in 4k high but I've managed to turn the resolution up to 200% uh, percent and the lighting up to 200% percent scale as well it looks beautiful I hope it's gonna run okay and obviously you can watch it in 2k as well but that's what we're going to do. Let's get some cheeky relaxed. We're going all relaxed, right? All relaxed today. Let me just get that up. Yeah, we're going to go all relaxed music. Okay, so there's my little Scania. I am due. I do want to get that new Renault, actually. Um, put Scania up to 400%. Yeah, I would do, but it just it's just taking off 60 frames. Um, don't forget, everything's up to 4K. The scaling's up to 200% on the lighting and of course I'm um, streaming it in 2k as well so yeah I, I like a little bit of headroom is this pro mods yeah pro mods is on there um, yeah it's all good how are you anyway I didn't expect so many of you in um, straight away I do appreciate you being here I've got a little cup of tea we're gonna have a nice this is gonna be chilled right this isn't this is just gonna be chilled out for about an hour and a half um, two hours it's gonna be absolutely lovely I can't wait um, and like I say just um, just trucking, nothing else. So if we go to the job market, let's go to the freight market. I want to, I wanted an interesting load. Oh, we've got this one. We've got, okay, we've got a car transporter um, going down to the new area. I think we'll do that, actually. Looks like I've got to travel. Um, I mean, we could do this one, but it's just an ordinary box trailer. I did want something a little bit different. But I also, I want to, um, yeah, that's no good. That's no good. Why are you sending me up there? <laughs> oh, hang on a minute. It's because I didn't set that as the, um, there you go. Um, see, I'd love to do the boat, and that's taking me across to Italy. Um, but, uh, oh, wait, let me say some name. Hang on, we ain't started yet. We're not started yet. Um, I think we'll just go with a standard box trailer. At least we can go all the way up to the new area. So, um, I think that's, uh... That's what we're going to do. I'm not taking a dolly. No, absolutely not. No. Here we go. The lighting model in um, in this game is extraordinary. It really is. It's a beautiful game. I love it. And I want to spend more time in it as well. Um, and Madman asked me if I'm going to get Resident Evil. I'm not sure. I just I feel absolutely bursting at the seams with games at the moment. And if I take something on that... Um, is what 15 to 20 hours I've heard um, it, it varies between um, what review you you read not that I've read them but non-spoiler reviews about 10 to 20 hours um, and I don't want to do my usual thing which is do one episode and then go back to it in a couple of weeks because something like that needs to be done together and I just don't think I can squeeze it in maybe I'll save it and we'll do it as a member stream after we finish Resident Evil 7 maybe <laughs> It's about it's about an hour longer, yeah, yeah. No, I'm not sure, yeah, yeah. It's a it's just about um, 
it's just about being absolutely bursting at the scenes with games that I want to do something. I just did something. <laughs> anyway, let's get on. Let me say, look at that, look at that. Let me say some names. Um, okay, we've got Will in here, Daniel, hello James. We've got uh, Stimson, John Stokes, Rodog, E200, uh, the lovely Madman, uh, Tech Games, Clark Little, Rob Shefford, Ricardo. We got Connor, and of course we've got Crafty Martin. It's getting hot in here. Dean Clayton's in here. We've got uh, Baz Callum, Melody. <laughs> Gordon's in here. Hello, Scott. Uh, Dean McSpotter, how are you? We got Umar, British Racer. Uh, it's, it's, I'm getting it now. Come on, here we go. We got back. Boom, crisp, uppercut, Angus, boom. Steve, FTW. <laughs> <laughs> Pro Bullet, smack, straight on ya. <laughs> Sorry, this is meant to be chilled out. This is meant to be a chilled out stream. I'm like, DXG Sam, boom! <laughs> Just ignore me. It's Saturday, we're chilling out. Ricardo! <laughs> right, let's get on with it. That's what we're going to do. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Hello, Glenn, how are you? I'm getting a headache. <laughs> Drop the mic. No, let's keep it let's keep it chilled please let me know about um volumes with the music um and all the rest of it as well let me just check this yeah no i want to go across here yeah we want to go does that mean we can change it no all the same yeah not a problem right let's confirm that one and take job cool 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 i think we've got to go uh Boom! We've got to go over here, aren't we? <laughs> that was different, yeah. <laughs> cuddle jacket, yeah. Nothing wrong with a cuddle jacket. Yeah, I am excited for a Saturday stream. You know me anyway. I bloody love streaming. Absolutely love it. So we are most definitely just going to um, take our time through this beautiful game. And we're going to go on a little cheeky journey. That's a nice little supercar there. I should imagine that's the owner of this company. Look at it, look. That looks very nice. Lovely. Oh, let me put it on top chat. Not top chat. Uh, let me put it on all chat, actually. Um, on live chat. There you go. Is there any updates on the road? Well, the update is... Oh! Watch it! Watch this space, because we're going to put we're going to put back in everything we took out in the last patch. Ooh. <laughs> oh, was it Rob? Oh, nice one. Yeah, it's it's great. Yeah, and I haven't got the two cameras on today, but my my seat does move as well um, to the game, which is amazing. Just very subtle. I mean, you, it's not like a race car, is it? It's a truck. <laughs> oh, Patron. Oh, watch this space. We're going to put parked cars back in that we took out. What the fuck? Looks lovely, doesn't it? Really is cool. Right, let's go. Have you got any better um, at parking? <laughs> God, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I bet Fabian loves this, yeah. Yeah, they are doing that, yeah. The la the next update is, oh, watch this space. We're putting back in parked cars that we took out. Yeah, crazy. Right, now we're now we're driving. Let me know about... It's only just chilled out music in the background. It's nothing groovy. I want, I want all chilled out. So it's very, very quiet. Um, but as long as you can hear it and it's a good mix... It'll all be good. Um, Baz, I've been out of I've been out of touch recently. I've been so busy and what with the reformat of the PC. iRacing isn't even installed. I'm gonna do that maybe this afternoon. Um, what is it, Baz? Volume's fine, nice. Putting in park cars, taking out the mirrors, yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, I've got back into um, Horizon Zero Dawn. I want to complete that. That You know, a bit like I went with Spider-Man. I, I went a bit sort of off-radar with that. I just did it for myself. It's a bit like um, Hero um, Horizon Zero Dawn. I'm just playing it for myself, and I'm really, really enjoying it. I'm 25% through. I want to get... Um, I want to do a whole fucking lot. I don't know whether I'm going to stream any of it, or whether it's my own little private game like Spider-Man went. But, um, yeah, I want to do that. I just don't know if I've got enough time for Resident Evil. I know, I know it's crazy. I'm getting bored of um, dropping games and trying to fit so much in. It's stressing me out again. Another Platinum. I'd like to. Yeah, I'd like to. It's a really, really good game. Yeah, if you haven't played it, Horizon Zero Dawn. It's beautiful looking, great pacing, lots of exploring. Look at this game. It looks fucking beautiful, doesn't it? I mean, look over there, look, with the bikes. Fucking hell. It really is cool, this game. It's the nuts. Oh, it seems the traffic's come back as well. That's good. Oh, you'll love it, Melody. Yeah, it was free, actually, for a little while. Oh, you got it on PC. Such a good game. It really is a really, really good game. Haven't had time to do any more MotoGP. This is what I'm saying. There's games that... Um, uh, yeah, there's games that I should, really should go back to. Um, we've got that new motorbike game coming soon. Can't remember. It's called Revs, maybe? Um, hello, Max. How are you? Yeah, it's called Revs, I think. That looks really interesting. Yeah. Test out your new cars, yeah. How, how good does the lighting look on this? It's crazy, isn't it? Am I doing manual gears? Hello? Yes. So we're just going to take it slow as well. Yeah, Resident Evil will probably be better to play on your own as well, yeah. Yeah, yeah rims. Rims, not revs, yeah. So this journey will take us into the new DLC, or the, the new-ish DLC. <laughs> oh, this music's just perfect for a chill, isn't it? I really enjoyed last night's stream. Yeah, I think I did quite well as well for me. Hello, Stu, how are you? No, we don't floor it. Monaco's next week, isn't it? So we'll be doing that anyway, Chris. Yeah, yeah, we'll be doing that. <laughs> no, I'm trying... <laughs> uh, not Inverness, no. I'm trying to... Um, I'm trying to stay down this way in the new area. It was a really good night. Yeah, yeah, it really was. Yeah, I want to do more bike racing, I want to do more automobilista, uh, I want to do more farm manager, I want to do more far, um, ranch simulator, it's crazy, yeah, I've, I've literally, I've overloaded myself again, yeah, overloaded, I want to start, um, I'd like to finish Horizon Zero Dawn, I'd like to start God of War, I'd like to start Days Gone, um, so many games, so many bloody games. Not that this is a bad thing, it's a good problem to have, isn't it, you know? Oh, nice, Callum. <laughs> Bubble wraps, yeah. yeah. There isn't enough hours in the day, no, no. I just recently I've been quite busy outside of the channel with real life. You know, we've all got this, we've all, we all go through fits and starts, uh, fits and starts, where you know, suddenly I've been able to just concentrate just on the channel and just work all day. Sometimes things pull me away, which at the moment, you know, I've got like, my mother-in-law and work and all that. And uh, yeah, just getting, um, just got to fit in what I can. Yeah. Do track racing? No, just this afternoon stream. And then um, watch some TV with my lovely wife. <laughs> yeah, definitely, man. <laughs> Could use that as an excuse, couldn't we? Ooh. 
we got to do 24 hours. And I want to do dreams as well. I want to do dreams. I haven't given up on that dream. I want to do dreams. Yeah, absolutely. Hello, Lee. How are you? Well, it's a treat for me. You for you, you know, it's a treat for me that you all come in uh, on an unexpected stream, and there's nearly 200 of you. So, you know, the thank you goes out to you. Oh, nice, Baz. Hello, Matt. How are you? Oh, this is just the ticket, though, isn't it? A nice bit of chill. It's quite nice that we're just playing trucking. We're not rushing through trucking or using it as a time filler. We are literally just trucking for a couple of hours. How are you, Max? Yeah, yeah, I'd like to finish that. Uh, not finish it, but yeah, definitely we'll carry on with that next time, Stimson, yeah. Oh, thank you, Dean. <laughs> I don't know about that, Rob, but thank you very much. What was that, Mark? I like watching children trucking streams. I saw that, and then it went. <laughs> Oh, are you going to play this, Max? Oh, lovely. Oh, nice one. Oh, nice, Max. Uh, Matt, sorry. Doesn't this game look beautiful, especially with the settings cranked up? I mean, it just looks gorgeous, doesn't it? So we've got 1,500 kilometres. Lovely drive. Hello, Les. We've got Les the winner in. Les is a winner. Oh, I got you, Mark. I was like, what, what, what children trucking? What, what's that? Is that like vans? <laughs> oh, he's uh, spilt his load. Yeah, you did, you did well last night, uh, Les, actually. Uh, Pro mods. got a sound mod, but I'm not sure if the sound mod is actually working because um, of the update. And I've got a motorbike mod. Yeah, not big on mods, really. You're a time filler. That is the nicest thing you've ever said to anyone, isn't it? You are the best time filler. <laughs> Never say that to your bird, cowboy racer. Hello, sweetheart. You are a beautiful time filler, you are. <laughs> It just started Witcher 3, bloody hell. I played quite a few hours of that. Maybe I wasn't in the uh, in the zone for it. <laughs> Probably ordered himself a, his own trophy, yeah. <laughs> Hello, Speed Mac. How are you? Yeah, nice bit of uh, Saturday and chill. Oh bloody hell! What what got me then? I don't know what. Uh, am I going this way? Shh, no, I'm not. I'm going this way. Bloody sat nav. <laughs> oh, hello, Scorp. <laughs> He's our resident Frenchman. How are you, Scorp? Nice to see you, mate. As married life treating you, Scorp. So you can see my um, my seat moving a little bit. I say a little bit. <laughs> right, let's have the last of this tea and then we'll set the uh, cruise control and we'll, we'll chip away at the journey oh lovely Scorp that sounds nice You're right with that music in the background. <laughs> Look at them mirrors. Such a treat, isn't it, Peter? Such a treat. Oh, 
Oh shit! <laughs> I seem to have broke some of my uh, truck, but it's fine. It's fine. It's all virtual, isn't it? It's like spa music at the moment, Madman. Yeah, it's like spa music. You know, when you're getting your, your back rubbed by a stranger and you're meant to relax. <laughs> what the fuck's that about? Hello, Ian. How are you? Just relax, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> I will, Simpson. Yeah. <laughs> I've got all PlayStation 5s in the back here. Yeah? It's lovely. Right, let's get some, uh, there we go, lovely. Is that one of them massages of a happy ending? I didn't say that, you know. I don't want you oiling up and losing a finger, sweetheart. <laughs> My TV isn't working. Oh shit, Max is in. Um, what do you mean your TV isn't working? This isn't a Friday night. <laughs> what do you mean it's not working, Max? Oh, actually, I'm going to stay over it. You can hear that um, now, Peter. <laughs> Move on, Peter. Now you should be able to hear that. Plugged in your HDMI and it isn't showing. Is that on your P? Oh, is that on your PC? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I think there's a bit of a problem with your graphics card. Um, you know, we couldn't get that cable out, could we? Yeah. <laughs> Definitely, Luna. It's crazy, isn't it? Now, remember, when I'm trying to read chat, um, it's hard to stay in the middle of the road. What game is this? Euro Truck Simulator 2. How much is my electric bill? Why do you want to know that? It's just electric. I mean, we all use that, don't we? <laughs> How much are your water rates? <laughs> I do like scanners, yeah, yeah. I do sometimes play Truckers MP. I haven't got it installed. I've just got a brand new system, so I'm going through it gradually and reinstalling everything. Hello, Zoltan. How are you? Yeah, I play American Trunk, yeah. You don't have to spam a question. I can see it the first time. Bridge! Bridge review! Ah, oh, this is this is lovely, this is. Yeah, it would be good, Sultan, yeah. Can you get U to UK routes? Yeah, of course you can, Jack, yeah. Got the whole of Europe. Well, thereabouts. Right, let's not crash it this time. <laughs> you know, what's your school's like? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you still going to cover it? Uh, I'll probably check it out when the patch comes, but... I mean, at the moment... Look at the top on that bike alert. That's riding up straight away. <laughs> this next patch is putting in things that they took out on the next patch, so what, what can we say about that, you know? Probably the Renault, yeah. Why can't they make on the road like this? Because they haven't got the bollocks, basically. They haven't got the minerals, as we say. 
you know, they clearly haven't got the design skills. Maybe someone like TML, they possibly could, who'd um, make the bus, they've, they've got potential. Um, uh, Toxtronic, I'm afraid they just haven't got the bollocks, yeah. Hello Mick, how are you? Lots of features are coming, yeah. What, like, the features they took out? Flight Sim, yeah, I need. I do need to... Uh, I need to reinstall Flight Sim and get it all working. Because just recently I've replaced my entire system, so that's why I'm streaming in 2K. So if you haven't already, um, you can up the quality. Um, I've got a new computer, new capture card, new everything, really. Um, so I've just got to go back through and reinstall everything. Do you like? Do you not like Mercedes? Yeah, I like Mercs. Yeah, of course I do. I can't say I've got a preference for a truck, to be honest with you. Yeah. <laughs> On the road again. I mean, how can you how can you fault this game? The game is just so good, so relaxing, and so so solid. You know, the game is solid. You haven't got to think, oh, oh, a bit glitchy up here. It's just solid. Wherever you drive, you get a solid experience. And uh, with Pro Mods, you get so much more as well. Pro Mods is free. It adds things like Iceland uh, as a country. It adds loads of little touches. It's just fucking. It's a beautiful game. It really is. No, no, this game as a whole, Mark, is far too much for, for consoles, yeah. Yeah, I don't care what anyone says. Oi, look out, mate, look out. Here he goes, it's fine. No, no, this, this game is too big for consoles. Current consoles, anyway. <laughs> Definitely, Matt, yeah. Does your offside mirror appear to be darker than the near side? What, over there? What do you, uh, what, I'm not sure what you mean. What, what do you mean? What do you mean? No, that's because, Melody, obviously we've got um, a console following here, and they look at something like this, and understandably they go, why can't we have this? Why? You know, we've got things like Red Dead, we've got things like, you know, even Cyberpunk works on the, the normal PlayStation 4. Why can't we have something like this? And that's a valid question. It is a valid question, and I think it's all down to the game engine that small developers seem to use. Funding and just getting the right people, you know? They're just getting the right people to try it. I mean, look at SnowRunner. We've got something like this, albeit, you know, um, off-road terrain. Um, if the people that did um, SnowRunner made something like this, I think we could have something like this on console. Yeah. I did watch qualifying, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just because they're bringing flight sim though, doesn't necessarily mean the experience is uh, is going to be optimised, does it? Let's see when they bring it. The problem is, it, it seems to be uh, smaller companies thinking, "Hmm, we could do that," rather than bigger companies going, "Yeah, I know we can do it, but should we do it? Can we do it? Um, have we got the right people? Is there the right audience?" It seems to be a lot of smaller companies going, "Well." We'll give it a go. We'll try, and th that's not really the right. Um, that's not really the right reason to do it, is it? Yeah, I mean, something that changed my mind about the Unity engine was Ultimate Fishing. It's literally changed my mind about the Unity engine. It looks beautiful, doesn't it? And that's the Unity engine. So it's got to be these smaller developers. They pick up on Unity because it's anyone. Someone said it the other day, and they they called it out so well. Um, they said something along the lines of the good and bad thing about the Unity engine is anyone can make a game. Um, that's the good thing, good and bad thing about it. You know, you don't have to be a game developer uh, to make a game with Unity. You just have to know how to use the sort of uh, user interface, and then wash, you've got a game. Uh, that's not necessarily a good thing, is it? Whereas I think the Unreal is fairly easy, from what I've heard, but it's um, harder to obviously customize it and make it your own. And that's what a lot of these companies they aren't doing. They're using off the 
off the shelf plugins trees yeah road yeah lighting model steering model old truck all right we'll pay someone to do a, um, a sort of a truck skin right put that in there we've got a game now none of it feels personal does it you know whereas this it's been made isn't it you know you can tell someone's made this game yeah they know but they've um this isn't written apparently in a in a programming language that would be console friendly they'd have to rewrite it can you imagine yeah they don't want to attempt that they've already said they don't want to give it to another company to do you know they would want to be um they would want to be doing it. cookie cutter games yeah definitely stimson yeah yeah so you need a company to go in and go right we've got a passion for We've got a passion for trucking game. We're going to really make it our own. And we're not going to use off the shelf plugins. Hello, Schmeagle. Hello, Muff. How are you? I think that's what the problem is. I don't know whether any of you agree with that. That's what it feels like to me, anyway. They sort of go, oh, there's a hole in the market here. Rather than my passion is to make a racing game for console. Hello, boss man. How are you? At least this has multiplayer. Yes and no. It has got multiplayer, but it's not built into the game. It's a mod, and you can mod it because it's PC. So no, this game hasn't got multiplayer. It's a separate mod that deals with that. Oh, thank you, Mick. Thank you. Here we go. We're just chilling out. It's uh, in-game time is 12 in the afternoon. We've got 1,200 kilometers. Uh, what are we actually taking? I can't remember. Um, we've got some onions. We're taking onions in this uh, quite boring box trailer, but it looks cool. Train simulator, yeah, Luna, yeah, yeah, but they're individual sort of. Uh, they're not. They're not stitched together, are they? You know, don't forget the game's got stream this uh, environment constantly without any loading screens, without any going to different areas, um, and I think that's that's where it excels in PC because you can just keep driving all day long and the game just keeps streaming the environment and uh, it, it's seamless. Yeah, it's seamless. I'm using Pro Mods. Um, uh, Ryan, um, pro mods. I've got a sound mod. Uh, I've got a rain mod, and I've got a motorbike mod. Other than that, that's it. Yeah. So we've got uh, motorbikes. Will you ever go back? I'll probably, I probably still will cover it at patch time, but I don't want it to become just a piss take roasting stream. Um, I might miss it for the next couple of patches and then, you know, rather than keep looking at incremental updates and not really seeing any update, I might go back to it in, say, two months and do a revisit stream. What have they changed in two months? Uh, and judge it that way. It might be easier to judge it, you know? You know, look at the little bits you've got. There's like a helicopter just flying around there. You know, it's just, it's not scripted. It's not, it's just there. Like in real life, it's just there. And that's what makes this game um, a bit more dynamic. It's not really scripted as such. Look, there it is in my, re in my rear view mirror. It's just going about, it's going about its daily business, doing its thing. Yeah, I did have the Scania sound mod, but I don't think it's working properly uh, since the update. Seventh of September, Ryan. We're going down to um, the top part of Portugal. Exactly, Mark. Yeah, and I think a lot of, um, I mean, a lot of people are happy with, with um, certainly way the way that on the road come out to start with. Apart from the mirrors, it was a. I found, you know, and I said this, I thought it was quite a good start. It's fine. Okay, it worked all right on the um, PlayStation 5. That looked quite nice on the standard. Yeah, it struggled a bit. Um, but it seems every single update, they've lowered the resolution. They've taken cars out. It's not even the game it started as. It's just a, it's just a mess. 
Oh my god, it's just a mess, yeah. Part of me wants to keep covering it to make sure they fucking fix it. Part of me just wants to disregard it because it's not worth your time. <laughs> you know? Um, so there's sort of six of one, half a dozen of the other. I know that um, I haven't got a relationship with them now. They're not very happy with me, I will be honest. They're not very happy because I've been outspoken. But that's tough shit. I don't care. I don't care about that. So I know it will annoy them for me to keep covering it. <laughs> I know it will. Uh, don't care about that. <laughs> don't care about that. Um, oh, look at that castle over there. Look. Look at that. Yeah, let's just say I, I doubt I'll get a PlayStation 5 version. <laughs> Who gives a fuck, though? You know, that's not what we're here for, you know? That's not what we're here for, to, to, um, to cover things up. I'd rather have you here than the developer. Do you know what I mean? You know, I'm not interested in... I am interested in developer relationships, and I've got some really good developer relationships, but ultimately, it's not behind the scenes, it's what's on the channel that counts, I don't care about that, if they don't want to talk to me or whatever, <laughs> don't care, and that, that's the same for any developer, any developer, yeah, we're here for a channel, we're not here for, to keep people happy behind the scenes, you know, fuck that, I'm not interested in that, so part of me just wants to stamp on it, and just go, fuck off, it's useless, and another part of me thinks, well, it's all we've got on console. I should really, um, I should really keep covering it to to show you what progress they're making. Yeah, his attitude has got more and more like that towards me. But it's all good. I don't care. I really don't care. This is lovely, isn't it? I like even just driving it slow. Just like driving slow. Silly, isn't it? Let's speed up a little bit. Yeah, definitely, Callum. Yeah, I should imagine they made... Um, he was rude. Yeah, and I did turn a little bit. I don't know if you noticed. I get a bit like that. If someone says something, I'm a bit like... <laughs> that was fucking the wrong thing to say. You know, when he put it forward... Uh, oh, well, Xbox, isn't it? Yeah, yeah well, you ain't going to get that on Xbox. I ain't got the power. Well, if Microsoft want to give us extra power, we'll put it in. I was like, nah... That's why I deliberately said, come on, if you're an Xbox player, stay away from this. Because it is wrong, you know? <laughs> Such a shame, you know? Such a shame. What do you think about how Twitch is going with the girls in hot... It's not going that way, it's been that way for ages. I joked about it the other day, but... I mean, if they want to do it, it doesn't affect what I do. I don't even watch other streams, to be honest with you. I try and... I don't, I don't go to other streams. I don't do nothing, really. I pop in and say hello, but... I don't... Um, I certainly don't watch women in, in uh, bikinis painting paintings. Absolutely not. <laughs> not because I don't want to watch them, just because it's... It's silly, isn't it? It's silly. I think that's the word for it. It's silly. There's plenty of videos you can go and watch to get more than painting. You don't have to watch someone painting, do you? It's just silly. Yeah. You know, take them off then, do your painting if you're going to do it. You know, don't just... <laughs> How do you know they do it then? <laughs> Logs into Twitch. No, I told you the other day, I logged into Twitch. Um, I was updating the members list, and I've got a few people that um, subscribe um, on Twitch, you know, to the paid service. I uh, went to get the list. First page was a girl um, in her front room, in a paddling pool, um, playing chess on her laptop. <laughs> Fucking hell. But the funny thing was, and don't think I'm jealous, because it's great if that's what they want to do. Um, but the funny thing, what... Sorry, what did I just hit? What, what did I hit? The funny thing was, there was 12,000 people watching. 12,000 people watching. What do they think she's going to do? Start whacking off in the paddling pool. It's... I don't get it. I don't get it. Yeah. Don't get it. Yeah, definitely, Callum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Twitch was predominantly gaming, wasn't it? Now they've gone for the real life and the painting and your knickknacks thing. But good luck to them, you know? I've got no problem with it. I'm not against it or for it. I just... Whoosh, straight over my head, you know? No, it was on the front page, man, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, it was on the front page. No, Pivers, I was there for minutes because it doesn't interest me. It's just too silly for me. It's just too silly. You know, yeah. Remember, I'm, I'm, I'm 49, and I, you know. Maybe if I was 15, then maybe. <laughs> oh, what's she drawing? <laughs> oh, 
Oh, why can't you be our art teacher? <laughs> Lots of hankies, yeah. <laughs> there's, there must be a market to it. There's um, there's twelve thousand people watching, so good luck to them. I've got no problem with it. You know, I'm not I'm not in getting into other people's business. You do what you you do you. I'll do me. That's the way I like to live. You wanna you wanna paint in your knickknacks and get all your feet all really. You know, like when they go all funny when you've been in the bath too long. She must get out like a sort of a wrinkled mess, surely. But if she wants to do that, that's, that is it's all good for me. It's all absolutely good for me. Train going across there. Love that. I love the way that the environment feels feels busy. Feels like people going on with their everyday life. Look. Love it. Is that a paddling pool in front of your arcades? A girl's got to pay her bills, Melody. <laughs> do you know anything about Bus Sim 21? I know a little bit. What do you, what do you want to know? Yeah, it's a, mo it's a mod bread. It's a mod bread. It's cool, isn't it? Yeah, no, you're right there, Callum. Yeah, but then they're not doing anything. They're not doing anything particularly wrong or, or dodgy because they're literally not allowed to. It's all innuendo, isn't it? You know, it's, it's innuendo. It's a bit like, um, do you remember when Channel 5 first came out? And they used to do, um, <laughs> they used to read the news naked and get undressed. I used to love it. Absolutely love it. Yeah, they're like, oh, and in the markets today, and they take their top off and all that. It's just, it's just, it's just innuendo. It, you know, it's harmless enough, but, um, yeah, whatever, you know. <laughs> this is a lovely drive. Let's see whereabouts we are. So we, start, we come down from Marcel, we're going through Toulouse, and we're going across there. Where is that? Is that, is that Portugal? Because I know Portugal's down here. Is, is this... What, what part are we actually going to? It doesn't actually say. Does anyone with a geography brain know? Can you play games in your pants? <laughs> but don't think I've got a problem with what anyone does, as long as it's legal, as long as it's fair. Just fucking do it, you know? If you don't like it, you don't watch. That's I'm not part of the hashtag uh, offended regime. You do it. You do it. You do it. Uh, why in September? Well, probably because they haven't finished development yet. I mean, do you want do you want a buggy game or do you want a finished game? Let's see how long you last. What do you mean by that, Callum? <laughs> <laughs> I tried it, I lost four minutes. <laughs> yeah, don't fit please don't think I'm part of the uh oh you shouldn't be doing that or hashtag offended because I am most definitely not. I don't know why I like to come out to third um third person for this. I always do, don't I? Yeah, bring it out, Bucky. Yeah, just do it. Just bring it out. Bring it out now. And um, oh, we're, and then make an apology. Yeah. What does Pro Mods do? Um, and how much is it? Well, it's free. You do need all the DLC though, so it's sort of free and it's sort of not. You can't install Pro Mods until you've got pretty much all of the DLC. I think the the world DLC, the map, um, the map ones. And uh, it just enhances it, various things, it adds it adds areas, it, in one particular instance it adds a whole country, Iceland. Yeah. Jason the Preacher, I'm no preacher. Yeah, we're just chatting. We are just chatting. It's like one of them just chatting streams. Are you just chilling? Um. Yeah, well, I'm here. Look, do I look chilled? 
<laughs> can you get mods on console? Uh, you can, but this game obviously isn't on console, mate. But you can get mods. Snowrunner does mods. Farming Sim does mods. I wish the UK was better. <laughs> yeah, I'll fucking do as well, Rob. <laughs> do you mean in game? Because yes, I agree. It doesn't look like this, does it? This looks really nice. Um, we did a stream the other day where I went up into the UK and I was a bit like, mm, looks a bit shit round here. Needs touching up. This is the most intense bit of gaming I've seen in a while. What, what do you mean, Brett? There are, Steve, yeah, there's lots of tolls, yeah. Whenever I uh, do a, chuck it, a trucking stream, though, I always have trouble staying in the bloody lane because I'm always over there looking at you. Thank you for coming in, though. I do appreciate it. Over 200 of you in on a little cheeky, unplanned uh, stream, so thank you very much. Oh, that's good, yeah, I bet Melody. It just becomes so crisp, doesn't it? Will they do a mod for you um, with your logo on the trailer? What, in this game? I mean, I could do that myself, but I just haven't got around to it. You can, you can put that mod in yourself. Single player, not multiplayer. Yeah, I will, um, next Friday, y yes, I'll be doing that, Matt. Yeah, I'll be doing that. I'm always over there looking at you. It's you. It's you, it is. I didn't complete it all, Phil. Yeah. I love all the different loads as well. It's just a very convincing game. I think that's what it's got. It's, it's convincing, isn't it? Is it looking good as well? Um, is it uh, is it all looking nice? Are you watching it in 2K? She's at work vaccinating. Oh, nice one. Is that your missus vaccinating? That's a brilliant job. Yeah. Drinking Guinness, watching a guy pretend to drive a truck. Where did my life go wrong? Fucking hell, John. Easy, mate. Come on. This is good. This is good shit. <laughs> You're drinking Guinness. So... Life's got to be good. Oh, thank you. Ah, oh, that's good. It's made me so happy recently that I've been able to improve the streams. And I've watched um, I've watched a couple of them back very briefly, and yeah, do it does look better. They still, I mean, it looks lovely on the phone, because everything's just so fucking crisp and uh, shrunk down. On the PC, um, looks lovely, yeah. <laughs> Dead Stimson, yeah. That was passive-aggressive in a, in a sentence, that was. Bit like you're a good time filler. I like that. It's not in 4K. Yeah, it's not in 4K. Yeah, exactly, Rob. This is why. Um, oh, what have we got here? What have we got here? We've got. Have we got a uh, nice bridge? Yeah, bridge is good. Bridge is good. Oh, look at that over there. Look. This is why I like um, on the road or the concept of on the road multi drops. Multi drops is fantastic. I wish we could have it in there. The fact that you can see inside your trailer and see what you're actually transporting, fucking brilliant. Could they could they actually pull pull it off and go through with it? No. Oh, that's good, St uh, Steve and Big Boss. Thank you. So, can you hear that music all right in the background? Is it at a nice level? You drive a truck and watch truck driving on your day off. It's alright, Stuart. It's, it's what makes you happy, isn't it? If you're happy doing that, then I'm happy you're doing it. Look at all the different loads. Look, look at that, that. Yeah, multi-drop is... Uh, oh, that's good, Stimson. Thank you. Yeah, multi-drop is fantastic. And the fact that you can get out. I'd love it in this game. I'd love it. I really would. Do you think on the road might be better in six months? I fingers crossed it won't be fucking worse. It's got to be better. It's got to. <coughs> oh, there are multi-drop mods available. Oh, okay, radar. Yeah. Do you think they'll just give up on it? I think that um, they'll do a next couple of months, and then the patches will get longer and longer in between. Purely because Fabian now thinks that they've got a solid platform to work on. Yeah. 
<laughs> boom, boom, pow. Boom! Callum! <laughs> I might start doing that more often. Yeah, the, the uh, size of the team, Luna, is just too small. Yeah, I mean, great ambition. And to a certain extent, you know, on PC, they have pulled it off. It, it works. It looks good. Um, but on console, it, it just hasn't come across. Yeah, it's lost in translation on console. Yeah, absolutely lost. <laughs> Please don't. Madman. <laughs> Ricardo. Everything is all good with my family, thank you very much, Jim Bob. As your family. That should be a notification. <laughs> you in your shed gaming room, just finishing things off for you? Oh, hello Dave, how are you? Oh, that's right, I think you were saying you sort of moved yourself and got your own little sort of area, haven't you? <laughs> Ricardo, thank you very much, mate. Yeah, did you, did you say that or am I getting you mixed up? You've got your own room now, haven't you, for gaming and stuff? Yeah, I think the fact that they're still... Uh, again, we are talking about on the road, but... Um, yeah, thank you, Ricardo. I think... Um, I think the fact that they're still going full steam ahead to bring out the PlayStation 5 version all the, all the time, the current gen, the money maker, if you like, is um, in this position and this situation, I think... Uh, it's not good. Yeah, just finishing it. Oh, nice one. Nice. You are a special creature. <laughs> you are a special time-filling creature. <laughs> yeah, never say that to your missus. Do you know what, love? You are a fantastic time-filler. I know, Stimson, yeah. And, yeah, we are talking about on the road, but we're not really. We're talking about a much broader sort of subject here, which is game development and publishing. And I love that. I love talking about games. And it just so happens that it's on it's on topic, isn't it? We're talking about, you know, look at, look at what you've got here. Admittedly, it took them about seven, eight years to get here. Uh, lots of investment, lots of money keep coming in because they do new DLC. So don't think that this has happened overnight. Um... But there's no way that I would want to release on the road in the in the situation it was at. There's just no way. You would wait, wouldn't you? You would wait. Yeah, surely you'd wait and just try and get your name a good uh, your, your game a good start to start with. Not just go look. That's the release date. Just get it fucking out. Yeah, crazy. No, it isn't Pivers. No. Yeah, of course I'm watching the F1. I love F1. Yeah, I absolutely love it. This is only since last season as well. Never really had much time for um, sort of current F1, but I'm, I'm involved. Was ETS in a bad state? ETS wasn't in a bad state because it was pretty much Euro Truck, just with, uh, with the American skin, if you like. But it was very uh, bare bones when it first came out. It, was, it wasn't well received. Yeah. I think they saw it work for Truck Driver, yeah. Crazy, and I, I love Truck Driver. I did try and stick with it as long as I could, and just think if I had stuck to it, right? So imagine if I'd stuck to. This is why I think I'm just going to drop on the road because it's not fair on the channel or 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 you. Because if I'd stuck to Truck Driver, I would still be making videos about. There's a map map expansion coming. We don't know when, but it's coming, and that's like 18 months ago, and it still hasn't arrived it's not good is it it's not good they're still talking about it oh did you see their post the other day um truck drivers coming to pc <sighs> i think i should be like some kind of community manager really that's what i'd like to do just as an experiment for a couple of games because no one wants it on steam <laughs> no one wants it on steam who the fuck is going to play truck driver on steam when on the same platform, for probably less money, you can play this. It's just not right. It's just silly, silly. Waste of resources. Waste of time. I mean, look over there. We've got a combine fucking harvester just going about his daily business. Look at that, look. It's just crazy. Yeah. 
It's going to get eaten alive on, on Steam. It will get the most negative reviews possible. I don't know why they're doing it when they still haven't done... I, I, I can see their ambition. They want it all on, plat on all platforms. Okay, that's fine. But you, you, it doesn't belong on that platform. Yeah. It doesn't belong on the platform, unfortunately. Console is um, where where they could clean up. And the funny thing is, actually, um, it may not even be too late for Truck Driver. It might not be too late. Because if they was to get their finger out now, now they've got a... Yeah, because they have got a solid platform, haven't they? I don't think it's buggy anymore. You've got what you've got. Small map, made up trucks, but it works and it's a trucking game. But if they suddenly got their arse in gear and tripled, quadrupled the team and got some really good map DLC and jobs, it could come back. But it's like, why can I see that needs to happen? But obviously they don't. And they're just happily tricking on, trickling on, doing nothing to it, basically. Yeah, just doing nothing to it. Absolutely nothing. Yeah, oh, we've changed the rain model. Come on. We've got, we've got some UK paint jobs for you to buy. Come on. <laughs> it's crazy that they would even invest time. Stop putting that time into pointless stuff. We don't need a photo mode. It doesn't look that pretty, you know? Yeah, it's great that it's included, but come on. Focus on expanding your game, expanding the platform. Even if it was paid for um, DLC, I ain't got a problem with that. Four ninety nine, five ninety nine, a map DLC. I, I would pay it. I would pay it to get to get a little bit closer to what we've got here. You know, Aerosoft um, are just money grabbers. No, I don't think they're money grabbers. I think I worked this out in my brain the other day. Um, <laughs> even I couldn't enjoy photo mode. <laughs> right, you'll have to bear with me because I don't know if you're going to agree with what I'm about to say. Um, don't forget, Aerosoft don't make a game. They don't make games. Sedesco don't make games, although they've got this in-house uh, team at the moment that they're talking about. But they're publishers, you know, so I'm not teaching you to suck eggs, but a lot of people don't know, you know. the Aerosoft don't make games. Sedesco don't make games. They're, they're publishers. They publish it for a development team. Um, and I think the reason Aerosoft could come across as money grabbers, if you look at, say, the bus, right, which is going to be good, there's no doubt about it, it looks next gen, it, 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 it's fine, it's going to be a good game. If you compare that to, say, Police Autobahn Simulator 2, what a load of shit. This is the reason, right, they are... Um, I watched a documentary many, many years ago about Michael Caine, and he he said that there was a time in his in his career where he would not say no, and it wasn't even necessarily for the money. It was just he wanted to work. He wanted to be in every film possible. He wanted to try his hand and just get as much experience. And I think Aerosoft are the Michael Caine of the gaming world. I don't think they say no to anything. I think they just go look. We might make some money off of there. They probably they probably take a fair old cut, um, and it, they just got so much under their wing that you know, as a whole, they're going to end up making money. But unfortunately, that means that oh, I've got an idea, um, Aerosoft, about a game. Uh, you know, will you publish it for me? And they're like, well, what's the cut? How much can we make? Yeah, we'll publish it for you. It might be shit. It might be shit. Um, and I don't know if you know what I mean. I don't know if you agree, but I think that they just publish anything anything you want in the hope that if you throw enough shit at the wall some of it will stick and that's not being horrible that's being realistic if you throw enough shit at the wall some of it will stick and the bits that stick they make money off the bits that don't fall to the floor but does it really matter to them ultimately um but they probably don't care yeah they don't care that's my opinion, anyway. Tell me what you think. Thank you, George. Yeah, the lighting's fantastic on this, yeah. Whereas you do get some publishing houses that... Um, they're very picky. 
I find um, Astragon to be like that. You know, they don't just publish anything. They're not publishing a game every single week. They pick and choose and they nurture, and I like that. I like that. So there's no doubt that Fabian has got a hard job. There's no doubt. I don't think I would want his job. He, You know, one minute he's doing the bus, then he's doing this, then he's doing flight sim. Yeah. Sedesco are, for example, just working on truck driver and a couple of little platformers, you know. That's my opinion anyway. That's my... Um, that's just my opinion. Yeah. A lot of companies are, yeah, bring it on, we'll do it. What can we lose? What have we got to lose, you know? Uh, reputation, I think. No, he's, yeah, no, he has got a hard job, but he's also, I suppose you've got to have this. He's got a bit of an arrogance about him. That's good. I suppose you've got, you've got to have thick skin if you're publishing stuff that isn't top-notch. It's a bit like, um, if you've got a massive game, you know, like these, people... People love SCS. They love them. They're like gods. When they come on the stream, they're like, oh my god, we love your game. And, uh, you know, that's um, that's one end of the spectrum to the other. They produce a lovely game. They give people value for money. And they're loved for it. Someone like Fabian, he's got to publish second-rate sort of wannabes. I don't mean that horribly. Um... And you, you're going to get that attitude back, aren't you? If you think I'm being unfair, please, please tell me, because these are only um, these are only my opinions. I like oh, I like your opinions just as much as mine. I tell you what, I'm going to do. I'm going to sleep because at night it's very, very dark, and it's I think it's better um, to watch when it's daytime. Us gamers are hard nuts to crack. Mm. I don't know if I agree with that. We are, but we're also we've also got very very short memories, very short memories. We'll get stung by one thing, and uh, <laughs> for some reason, however many times we we get upset or let down, we can't stop getting excited about the next project. Or, oh my god, have you seen that trailer? It looks awesome. How many trailers do we have to watch that, and then look back in time and think there's nothing like that? But as gamers, we just I think we want to be we want to be in love with this stuff, don't we? Because there's passion behind it, you know. There's passion. You know, you you invest the most the most valuable currency into these things, which is time. There's nothing more valuable than time, is there? You know, there's nothing more valuable than time. You know, and people like to spend two, three, four, five hours, eight hours playing this. That's, um, yeah, eight hours. That's your eight hours of your life, isn't it? That you'll never get back. And that's why this stuff, we're passionate about it, because we're willing to sacrifice that time that we could be doing something else, maybe more productive, but no. I want to do this, because I like what you've created. It makes me feel good. I mean, look at this. Look at this. It just It's just great, isn't it? So when something is a bit shit and you still invest your time into it, you can feel a bit cheated at the end of it because you just think, That's what a load of shit, you know? And uh, yeah, no one wants to think like that, do they? You want to enjoy your time. You want to come off it and think, that was bloody brilliant. I can't wait to do that again. That's that's the holy grail, surely, of a game. You know, like when I, when I play iRacing in that Porsche, I can't wait to get back into the next race fucking lovely feeling and you play a bit of a shit game and it's like what like that chernobyl the other day what are you fucking nicking my life here fuck off <laughs> I, I was slightly disappointed with iberia even that yeah um i don't know it looks lovely doesn't it i suppose i suppose there's it's the age-old thing of what were your expectations and did it match what they delivered? Were your expectations in the right place? And this is what I think us gamers um, have got to do. It's just lower our expectations. Just lower it. <laughs> Let's just fucking lower it. And then we'll all be happy. <laughs> 
No, it's meant to be quite good, Ricardo. Yeah, it's meant to be quite good. I <laughs> like the way you ended that stream. I'm just like, nah, I'm not having it. Nah, the channel isn't about roasting games. You know, it's just not. It's just not. It's about playing games that I and we enjoy. That's that's really what the channel is about. Yeah. And um, it didn't take an hour to, for you to know that that was horror done wrong. Yeah. Oh, uh, this hasn't... Oh, okay, let's just go through... <laughs> let's just go through here. Oh, shit, I'm starting... Oh, paid. Oh, no, this is auto toll. Oh, fantastic, yeah. Oh, no, I wouldn't take it down. No, 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 I wouldn't take it down. No, I wouldn't take it down. It's just that I just felt like I couldn't continue anymore. Yeah, I mean, the, the first... The phone blowing up frightened the shit out of me, but that's because it was loud. But when the first, um, that first sort of hovering thing, woman in the thing, I wasn't scared one bit. I was like, what? And then you can have a look round it. Nah, no, this ain't how to do horror. Not when you've got Resident Evil set in the bar, you know? Yeah, exactly, Radar. So you invest time in there and you're happy. It's a, it's a, um,. <laughs> pastimes and hobbies they're it's like a transaction isn't it you know whatever the hobby is fucking jigsaws you know whatever it's a transaction is it worth doing spending four to five hours on a on a jigsaw of an evening a bit of music on a bit of tv yeah not that's not my opinion i'm using that as an example it's a transaction you know that's all it is is it worth sitting in front of the tv polishing shoes for four hours of course not it's not it's not rewarding there's just no point is there look at that train going across there oh my god look at that that looks really cool is it worth playing this game for four hours to experience this in a sort of make-believe train set model world yes fucking right it is yeah love it Well, that's what you do in games, isn't it? Yeah, you lose yourself. You lose yourself. It's escapism. I'm, I don't want to escape from my life. I love my life, but... Just taking yourself to another realm, another world, I think is just exciting and great. People do it in music. People do it in, in films. People do it by going down to the local woods and just walking through and feeling at one with nature. Some people put on a VR headset. Some people just sit in a nice, comfortable chair and play a game. It's, it's great. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, how could it pick a story like Chernobyl? Yeah, I did feel a bit guilty that I was doing it on the, the, the anniversary, but I sort of said it at the start. It's not my fault, and it is just a video game. You can't apologise every time you, you play COD, can you? You just can't. There's that separation, isn't there? Your opinion that ETS is not on console? Hmm. Well, half of that is the, the developers don't want to put it on console. Um, the other part is the people that have tried haven't got the skill. The other part is limitation of hardware. It's as simple as that. <laughs> Pure escapism. <laughs> I mean, look at F1 last night. You know, I felt that I was getting a little bit better last night. Um... And just such a rewarding feeling, knowing that you're, you're putting time in, you're hopefully getting a bit better, you're teaching yourself something. I can't think of a better thing than, than gaming. You know I love it, and I know that you love it, otherwise you wouldn't be in here watching me and chatting with everyone in here. That is bullshit. bullshit. What's bullshit, Mercedes? Remember, there's a bit of a delay, so sometimes I might say something, and then you think, what? Hello, Glyn. Hello, Matrix. How are you? No, I don't think that's a good enough reason not to put it on console pivots. No, I don't agree with that at all. Yeah, I don't think that just because the market is predominantly PC that people shouldn't put it on console. That's not that's not a good enough reason. No, I don't agree with you there, pivots. Sorry. <laughs> We're taking onions. 
Yeah, no, I don't think that's a good enough reason for not to. No. The real reason is you have not got the fucking power, certainly not in a, in a standard PlayStation or a standard Xbox, to deliver this. You, you haven't. You just haven't. You have not got enough power. And I don't know how games like GTA and Red Dead Redemption and Gran Turismo squeeze... Oh, fucking hell, I'm all tipping over to one side. I don't know how they squeeze that power out of it. They are geniuses. But to the normal mortal game developer that can't seem to do that you know that power just is not available it's not available I think a lot of it is now we're getting very technical here and you know although I've got a technical brain it's you know it's not my absolute expertise but don't forget a lot of this is not only graphical power there's processing power as well of you know streaming that environment and games consoles they are predominantly graphical power aren't they um, so that could be a reason why your dual core laptop does it but maybe they haven't got it to, you know to do it on PlayStation uh, you know pro I, I no idea yeah Yeah, this game isn't about graphics, yeah, because if you actually look at it, and if we was to stop, you'd, you, you know, and really actually study the graphics, you'd realise that as beautiful as this looks as a package, you know, individually, it's still got all the limitations that a lot of more basic games have got, but it's an, uh, this game is an overall package, you know, that's what this game is. I mean, look, the textures on that wall, they're not all that, it's, you know, it's not... The lighting model is um, a key secret in how good this actually looks. Yeah, just because they're bringing flight sim, let's not get too excited. It could be a disaster, couldn't it? It could be. I think the, the, the problem is, is the size of the open... You know, this is an open world game, isn't it? I can, I can travel from here. I mean, look at it. I can, we're down here at the moment. If I wanted to... I could turn back and just go wherever I want. This is probably one of the biggest um, open world games. I mean, it's just crazy. Absolutely crazy. And you can go here with no loading screens. The only loading screen you would get is if you was choosing like a boat trip. It would go to a loading screen then. But we could, we could actually avoid boats and drive anywhere here. Anywhere we wanted to. And uh, that's why it's a big ask. Yeah, yeah, Matt's just summed it up there, really. Yeah, yeah, if you read Matt's comment, he's just summed it up, I think. Yeah, definitely will. Yeah, Microsoft are publishing it, and it will be their baby, wouldn't it? Yeah. Hello, British Ace, how are you? Yeah, we're not even, we're not even talking about console limitations, because... There's no way you couldn't put Red Dead Redemption on any console and just show it to someone and go, look at this, right, and th this machine costs, what, a couple of hundred quid? Look at this, it's the bollocks, and it is. And that does that very well, and um, PCs do this very well. I think it takes four hours to drive from one end to the other. Uh, more than that, Spaghetti, yeah, I've done, I've done eight hours. Well, actually, I've done a 24-hour stream, but yeah, no, it takes more than four hours. You want to stalk your ex? Wow, I can't be involved in that. Yeah, I don't know what it is that um, that these super developers, they know what they're doing, don't they? And I'm sure they pay through the nose for their people and their expertise and good luck to them, you know? But the average, you know, commoner garden developer hasn't got access to that. And that's why they all seem to gravitate towards the shitty Unity engine um, and their, just their ambitions are just trampled on by the game engine. But saying that, Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2, you may have seen the channel, you may have seen it on the channel the other day, it looked stunning, and I was so surprised to hear that it was Unity. So, fuck knows. I don't know. See, if you look closely, it's not amazing graphics. It isn't the most um, graphically intensive game. 
but just overall as a package it's lovely I like American truck and Euro truck there's something about Euro truck I seem to be gravitating back to it but um, there's also something about American truck being so unknown to me you know I'm not from America so every you know I, I rec I don't mean I recognize it but it seems quite familiar Europe is quite a familiar place isn't it you know you really have to whereas America it's, it's all new to me it's all new so sometimes it's nice it's nice to have both they're pretty much the same game aren't they but just different trucks and different environment but ultimately they're the same game Depends if SCS is for sale, you know, I think um, the people at SCS, I think they're more than happy living in their little bubble, their little PC bubble. I know they earn fairly good money for a small developer, and I think they're just happy doing what they're doing, yeah. Just because Microsoft wants to buy companies doesn't always mean companies are always available for sale, you know. Sometimes you might get a phone call, oh, we'd like to buy you, fuck off. Who do you think you are? I should imagine that happens uh, quite a lot. Fuck off, Microsoft. You ain't buying us. Do you think Rockstar would ever do a trucking game? <laughs> no. No. It's too niche. You know, don't forget the, the amount of money and effort and team they have to put into producing something like Red Dead or GTA. You know, ultimately, trucking is a niche game. It's niche, or or what's it? Nick, N niche, nice. If if you're American, what do they say? The UK says niche, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Good point there, Matt. Actually, yeah. Matt's got some bloody good points today, hasn't he? Reaper, thank you very much, mate. Yeah, Matt, you're coming up with too many fucking good points. Slow the fuck down. Yes, look at a set of Corsa Competizione, right? It's the Unreal Engine, so. Theoretically, it should be easy, right? Easy to port because that's the good thing about the Unreal Engine. It ports, it'll port to your phone. But look at the port. Now, there's nothing wrong with ACC, and I think we're going to be doing that Tuesday with the new um, the Alton Park at Donington on the console. But is it in no way the same game? The quality, the graphics, the feel it is not the same game. It's it's a it's a weaker cousin of the PC version. And that's just a basic, straightforward, unreal game. Obviously, it's been customised. It's got a huge um, simulation model in it. But it hasn't translated very well. I know they're still working on it. That's another game, you know. Matt is on the ball, yeah. That's another game. Do you remember when ACC come to console? It was 30 frames, but it looked beautiful. And once you actually um, started playing it, it was all right. I was one of them ones that stuck up for the 30 frames um, choice. Yes, I know it isn't right. Of course it isn't. But it, you go back and look at one of my streams. It pisses over what it looks like now. It's a bit of a mess now. I put it on the other day, and I was like, fucking hell. I was driving. I was like, shit, I didn't even see that car coming. All the resolution, it just it all just mixed. It didn't look very good. Yeah, it didn't look very good. You put it on the PC, it looks the, the bollocks. Yeah, I don't think they're going to... Um, yeah, unless they take it to... Well, I don't know. Unless they took it to an entirely different part of the world. They seem to be expanding this, don't they? Yeah. I love these streams, though, where we, uh, we have a nice chill. I'm going to put the music back on. I think we'll go for something a little bit more lively... Let's go for um let's go for happy. Yeah, let's go for happy as a genre. That's better. I know we've had a very sensible chat today, but I enjoy it. Hopefully you enjoy it. <laughs> the old road rash. Yeah. Wait, is that too loud now? Yeah, yeah, definitely, Matt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Stop being so fucking right, man. I don't like it. Perfect idea. Pick an island. Pick Isle of Sheppey, truck driver. <laughs> Let me know about volume, because this is louder than the previous stuff. Yeah, definitely, Emile. That's a really good idea, actually. Yeah, and they could almost incorporate some of like the snow runner technique of making some of the roads really tricky. Yeah, volume's a bit loud. Sounds good to me. Okay. Music is a good volume. <laughs> Will, do you want to? A bit loud. Okay, I'm listening to you two. It's not a problem. Let's do that. Got to listen to the mods. You actually brought a PC in December, yeah. Uh, Madman did exactly the same thing. He, he brought uh, an expensive PC uh, for this game when it this game was five pound, and he doesn't even play it no more. Do you play it anymore, Madman? I think he does actually, yeah. Thank you for coming in though this afternoon. We've got 357 kilometres to do, and I think what we'll do is we'll do a short journey after this, and then uh, I'm going to go and enjoy the rest of my Saturday with my missus, cook some dinner, watch some telly. But I wanted to come on and just uh, play some games with you. It's quite nice just trucking as well, without thinking... You know, without using it as a time filler <laughs> um, in between racing, it's quite nice just to do this. I think we'll do some more trucking on Friday, actually. Yeah, you know, I think we'll um, we'll do another racing and trucking stream. It's such a shame that them races aren't more more frequent because all that practice and only actually get three races in at the most. The thing is with me, I need to really drill down. I can't swap cars. If I'm trying to be really competitive, which I do in iRacing, I can't go, right, let's do that, and then nip across to the Ferrari. I just can't do it. Can't do it. I'm not skilled enough. I need to I need to really dial into that car. See you later, Schmeagol. Does anyone who know who got poke for tomorrow? Poke? Oh, pole? Pole? Hamilton. Hamilton, Verstappen, Bottas. I think that's what you mean. Can you see my seat leaning over? Because we're, we're on a camber here. Love it. Yeah, his 100th, yeah, well done to him. Oh, that's a nice bridge. Oh, check that out. Yeah, that's good. That's an interesting bridge, isn't it? You've got the old style, but then you've also got um, that on top. That's really nice. That's lovely, that. I mean, look at this game, look. Look at that. Whoa. No, I know, Darren. I, I guessed. Yeah, it was nice to see him quite excited today, wasn't it? Shows that he's still got the passion for it. Are we going off here? No, no, we're not, no. I've also got the mod as well. I think it's still installed. That takes away, you know, the red, um, like, no entry sort of effect. Takes that off. I don't know where Marzipan is. If I think he's last, isn't he? I bet real drivers hate that. Real truckers, you know, where the car sort of slows down. So you think, okay, what are you slowing down? Let me take over, overtake you, and then they start speeding off. Yeah. Hello, Adam. How are you? Did 
depends. Do you mean just the base unit, Luna? Or the whole package? Yeah, what a fucker for ignoring that blue flag. Yeah, not good at all. Look at that over there, look. <laughs> what a beautiful game. Actually, we're going so slow, it might just be this journey. We've still got 276 kilometers to go. I'm <laughs> well, but I asked how you were first. No, no, Adam, how are you? No, I want to know how you are. <laughs> Oh, hello. Hello. Got a bit of sunshine over there. Bit of beach. I br Luckily, I've packed me trunks. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, I've got all the map DLC. Worth every penny. See you later, Darren. Hopefully your team wins, whoever that is. I like that with all the overgrown on it. That looks good. How long have we been streaming? I wanted to do about an hour and a half. So that will probably be right, actually, by the time we uh, drop that off. Let's show you where we're going on the map. So we started at Marcel, just over here. And we're making our way to the top part of Spain. One hour. Yeah, cool. Right, okay, we'll, we'll end it after this um, this particular job. Hour and a half, perfect. So we'll do this job. We've still got parking, right? We've still got parking, so it could be a three-hour stream. Is that a railway down there? Is that you a railway down there? Are you a railway? Oh, yeah, love it. Hello, puppy, how are you? No, I've changed all my views, yeah, we've got we've got different views set up like that, all on the button. <laughs> Ace. Am I right in saying PC like yours looking at one to two? Um Yeah, yeah, if you want yeah, I've only just brought this and it was um a bit more than two, but yeah. But you don't have to pay that much, you don't have to. A lot of it is determined by mo what monitor you've got. So a lot of people, oh, look at you down there. Oh, my God. Right, we need to pull over. We need to have a little cheeky look at this. That looks nice down there, doesn't it? Oh, that is cool, isn't it? And this isn't like a scripted sort of area that the game knows you're going to stop at. It's just there. It's just there. You don't have to stop, you don't have to look. I may have been looking over the other side. You might not even see it, but it's there. It's there. Look at that. Oh, fucking hell. I'd love to go right there now. Wow. Feels so long since we've all travelled anywhere. That's making me long for just the sun on me back. Yeah, it looks great, doesn't it? Yeah, a lot of people say... Um, most people, I don't want to overgeneralise, most people have got a 4K TV in their, in their front room now. I don't know whether that's overgeneralising and you'll be saying, fuck off, it ain't a standard, but they're so cheap now that a lot of people have got 4K panels in their front room, right? So a lot of people go, I'll just buy a PC and plug it into that. But that means the question you're asking is, how much does it cost to do 4K gaming? Well, that's a different question to how much... 1080p gaming very very different question and the problem is with running a 1080p image on a 4k tv they don't downscale very well so a 4k uh, sorry a 1080p image on a 1080p monitor in my opinion and my eyes looks better than a 1080p image on a 4k tally um, and to run this game in 4k actually that's not a fair that's not a fair um this game is actually quite easy to run in 4K, but if you want to, you know, start um, sort of saying, I want a 4K PC, that's quite a bit of money there. Yeah, quite a bit of money. Hello, Viper, how are you? Hey, we've got a bridge review. Here we go. Oh, yeah. That looked very... That was probably one of the prettiest little sights, that little beach, that I've seen. 
Hello Block Mania, how are you? So yeah, if you've got a 1080p monitor, you can get, you know, the minimum to a little train over there. It's all happening. It's all happening. Yeah, the minimum you could, if you've got a 1080p monitor indoors, you could probably get a 5 600 quid PC. Um, yeah, definitely Vipe, yeah. You could probably pay 5 600 quid uh, and be running this in a really nice situation. But obviously if you want to if you want to put it up to your TV indoors, that's 4K, you know, it's it's going to take some power, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely vote. <laughs> yeah, I've got a 60 odd in me front room, but I don't, I don't game in there. Yeah, all good, Block Mania. <laughs> you managed to remain composed when you spotted the... Take me to a model railway exhibition and I'm like a fucking kid. Oh my god, look at that there, look, oh look. It's how I designed my model railway. You know, you can get some model railways that, um, uh, you can follow the train round with your eye. Right, because I, I, I like building stuff. I'm, I like making a model railway. I've got a model railway in my loft. Love it. Um, and a lot of people, they just want to watch the train go round and round. I don't. I design my model railway in a completely different way. Are you virgin? I like my trains to disappear um, and to reappear because when you go to um, a model railway exhibition you don't know the layout of the track you see a, a train disappear in that tunnel all of a sudden it comes out down here and I like the I like the wonder of it you know I'm, I'm a kid and I and I like that with this game I like oh there's a train going across there love it Yeah, there is a model railway simulation game actually in VR, and I was so excited when it came out. And it is actually a good game, but the controls—it's—it's it's a ball ache, I think is the word. Yeah, it's—you uh, go to put a bit of track down, and all of a sudden you've got half the mountain stuck to your hand, and you're just like, "Oh, this is winding me up." I almost play this game like it's a, well it is, like a make-believe model environment and I, I'm just interested in environments, always have been. You should do a video of your model railways, Umar, there's four years of um, videos on my other channel. Yeah, just type in five elms, so five as in F-I-V-E, um, space, E-L-M-S, five elms. There's everything to do with my model railway up on there, Umar. Four years of me building it. Oh, nice, 120 hertz. So you've got that up to your Xbox X, haven't you, Vime? Is there anything utilising that? Is there any games utilising 120 hertz yet? But yeah, there's loads of Model Railway on my other channel. Even Eva, even Eva has her own channel. Yeah, that was only designed as a little thing for me, really, just for her first year of her life. What, what do you play at 120? Yeah, Five Elms, check it out. And I, uh, I stopped making content for that the day that I started this channel. <laughs> what the fuck's this track? Oh, I caught you, Vibe, yeah. Oh, we got a biker. Let him go. Yeah, thanks, mate. Yeah, don't don't bother thanking me, will ya, prick? <laughs> oh God, what is that song? Rio Mandio. What we got here? What's down there? I'm nosy, you see. Oh, that's... What's that, like a walking park? Oh, that looked interesting. <coughs> I'm so sorry about this music track in the background, if you can hear it. <laughs> Fucking hell. Right, we've got 94 kilometres before um, I try, I attempt to park. Just type it into... Steam, Christine, I think. I may have got it off um, Google. Yeah, it's just a, a mod. I can show you it in a minute if you just remind me before we go. Oh, 
Oh, thank you, Ace. Yeah, you might find something on there yeah, that you'll uh, enjoy. A lot of blood, sweat, and time, and... I always sound miserable in them videos, though. I think I was miserable, actually. That's why I started this channel. <laughs> this channel makes me very happy. I used to use the model railway as my stress reliever, just like I do now, really, with games. But I would just go up in the loft and uh, just shut the loft hatch and just live in another world and build models. It was great. This has been a fun journey, a fun stream. We've had a bloody good gaming chat, which I love. I love a gaming chat. Love it. Yeah, they are the best chats. Still have a laugh of it, of course, but just discuss our favourite subjects. And we're we're allowed an opinion, aren't we? Just because we're not developers or publishers, we are we're the customer, aren't we? We've got the best chance of an opinion. We we are the people that pay their wages, so. Yeah, I think so, Luna, as well. We do go off piece sometimes and have a filth discussion, but that's just life, isn't it? <laughs> Hello, Tommy, how are you? The more stress you get, the more you think, yeah, definitely, Reese, yeah. I've always been a bit of an escaper, um, either in games or model railways or stuff like that, always. No, I haven't, Mark, it's sitting up there. Yeah, it's sitting up there. Your balls have dropped since then. <laughs> He got the cameras on again. Well, that was nearly... It was nearly ten years ago I started that. I think it started from just having a shit childhood and starting with my Amstrad. I used to just whoosh, escape into my Amstrad. And get on with it, yeah. <laughs> Definitely, Umar, we're the buyer, yeah, 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 so we have got an opinion. Some some parts of it are uneducated because you don't know the background behind how hard it is to do a certain thing, but fuck it. Other people do it, it must be doable, you know? But yeah, I think that escapism, for me anyway, started um, with my Amstrad. My Amstrad was my best friend. It was my friend growing up. <laughs> Sad, but true. Are you finished with On The Road? I'm not finished with it. I mean, let's be honest, I never really started with it. Um, it was not a game I ended up playing. It was just a game that I ended up covering on Patch Day, which I'll probably continue with. Um, one thing that stops me playing the game, outside of whether it's shit or not, how it looks, it's um, it's the steering wheel false feedback. I can't stand that sort of, oh God, I'm turning. Oh, the false feedback's getting tighter. Fabian might say this sort of, oh, it's just a plug-in, you put it in. Yes, but it needs customising. It seems that the plug-in, and exactly the same thing happened with Truck Driver. Do you remember when Truck Driver came out? Same thing, resistance, resistance, and they have to go in and customise it. Yeah. Can you uh, get rid of that angel knob? Just ban them. Yeah, we don't want them. Just ban them. Oh god, uh, is this... Oh shit, is it that way? Oh, d yeah, it's that way. What music is this? Have we got a mod in? I can't remember if we... Have we got mods in? Have we got mod in today? Oh, this looks nice, round here. I don't mean if we got a mod in, if we still got a mod in. Oh, hello, this all looks good. Yeah, Will's still in. Thank you, Will. Yeah, it sort of matches, doesn't it? The music matches, yeah. No, I know that you was in, Will. I didn't know if you were still in. We don't want any of that bullshit, do we? Hello, Skippy, how are you? Oh, that looks good over there. This music has just come on perfect, doesn't it? No, 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 don't say sorry, Will. God, no, there's no expectations from a mod. I was literally just talking aloud. Have we still got mods in? <laughs> this music is so cinematic with where we've just pulled up. 
just matches, doesn't it? Is there any hope? Well, there's always hope. There's always hope. Hope is free. Hope is um, hope is a good emotion, isn't it? We can always hope that it gets better. And that's your lot. <laughs> Funny and fast. Bloody hate him. I run restaurants and customers don't care if I'm short staffed or deliveries haven't ex arrived. They expect excellence every time um, they come. Do you agree? A restaurant? Yes. Yes. Because you don't price it depending on how staffed you are or how much stuff you've got in the fridge, do you? You staff it for an experience and as a customer I expect that experience. So yeah, yeah, you're right. Or, or well, maybe you don't agree, but no, that I think that opinion is right. Yes, I think it is. Who else agrees with that? If you had a sign up, fifty percent off today, because I've got I'm short staffed and I haven't got this, this, and this, people would come in and go, "That's not a problem." Yeah, we'll have something else off the menu. Not a problem. We've got to wait twenty minutes. Not a problem. At least you've told me. But as for um, yeah, fucking right. But we seem to do the same in gaming. Yeah, I know, I know, yeah. I think there is, there should be an, a, different expo ex a different expectation between indie development and no expense spared AAA. You know, I think there should be um, a bit of difference. Fucking hell, where, where are we actually going? Okay. I suppose it's easier to create a meal, a steak meal with this, that, it's it's a product that can come out, you know, you're buying a product, aren't you? And we've all got an idea of how a steak should look and and smell and taste. I think with, um, with gaming, it's almost like you're buying into someone's idea, aren't you? You know, and uh, fucking hell, where, this is tight. You're buying into someone's idea and a promise. Oh, cup of tea, just in time for parking. Sorry? Um, am I on a promise? I don't know, you tell me. <laughs> no. Thanks, babe. I'll be out soon. Thanks, babe. Oh, hello, Eva. Yeah, leave her in here. Yeah, depend... With... with uh, with a with a game you're buying into someone's idea aren't you you're buying into someone's passion someone's idea it's a lot harder to actually produce and get on the plate isn't it because his idea of um fucking hell where are we going it's all it's all down to interpretation isn't it gaming you know, they might come up with an idea and some people might think, oh, I like that, but I don't like that. And then someone else will say, no, I like that. It's so hard, isn't it? It must be hard. But you're right. We do put up with far too much. If this music winds me up when I'm parking, it's going straight off. I actually like the way that um, we struggled to find it then. That was brilliant. Yeah, I've, I've drove a bus. I did a stream where we was driving a bus. Yeah, it was quite good, actually. Oh, I know, Umar. I'm not belittling what you're doing. Yeah. I'm, I, if anything, I'm living up to that expectation of just like, it's a steak, get on with it. Yeah, no, you're, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, no, I wasn't belittling what you're doing. Same thing. There's, well, you, you say it's different. It's exactly the same. I, I always choose steak. And my wife always says to me, why do you choose steak? They never do it the way that you do it on the bar B. They never do it to your liking. You always moan about it. <laughs> and I'll, I'll have it next time. So sometimes one, three in ten, I'll sit there and go, fuck me, this is a lovely bit of steak. It's just got that crispness right. It's just the right amount of pink in the middle. The fucking fat is all sizzled up on the outside. Oh. The other seven times... This is shit. I can do better than this. Does it stop me going for a steak meal? No, I'll give it a try again 
and again and again. So actually, it's it's not that it's not that different, actually, is it? It's not because we all come back to that hope thing. Oh, I hope this is a nice mill. I hope this this is good. This this game is good. Whoa! What the fuck? Hang on! Hang the fuck on! What is going on here? What? <laughs> Only order steak if the restaurant is quiet. Yeah, I like the idea of ordering it when it's busy, when I know the grill is up to speed and um, they can chuck it on and chuck it off. Yeah, yeah. But still, it's almost like we're answering our own questions. You know, I'm the customer with the expectation. You know how difficult it can be and the little um, nuances, like only order a steak if the restaurant is quiet. It's like we are all the customers and only... The developers know the issues, don't they? Only they know the issues. We just want a game that fucking works. Is it too much to ask for? Is it too much? Yeah, no no reason to mess up a steak. I can cook a fucking lovely steak. It's fine. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's fine. <laughs> squashed onion. A steak should be one of the easier things to... Um, it should be one of the easiest things, shouldn't it? Yeah, good idea, Marky. Yeah, yeah, good, good attitude. That looks tight. That's what she said. And I'm like, nah, we can fit in there. No problem. Oh, 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 hang on. Let's straighten it up. That's that's not. No, I feel I feel like I'm cheating there. Let's straighten it up. Oh, of course I need parking lessons. That's what they come here for. They come here to watch me do a terrible fucking job on parking. But we get there in the end. Steak is not easy until you learn how to perfect it every time. Yeah, but that's that's called a chef, isn't it? And that's why you go to a restaurant. That's why I go to a hairdresser to do my hair, because hopefully they're educated in it, aren't they? Oh, for fuck's sake! There was—I should have just accepted it the first time. Hello, Scarab. Nah, it's not live. Nah. No, I didn't want to accept it like that. I wanted to do a proper job of parking. Proper job. I can't sort of move it over enough, can I? It's fine, it's fine. It's getting worse now, look, it's getting worse. No, that's alright. No, that's that's not bad. They can unload that. Yeah, fuck it, they can unload that. It's all good. I want steak for my tea now. I have actually got some steak out there. I am going to have steak tonight now. Yeah. But your chef gets it wrong. Seven out. I know, Bazza. I know. I know. And because we're good human beings, we keep going in and fresh slate every restaurant, you know? <laughs> that is it, everyone. Thank you for joining me today. Um, I've actually really, really liked it. We've had a lovely gaming chat today. Um, hopefully it made your Saturday afternoon go a little bit sweeter. Um, I'll be back Monday morning with something else. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Your gaming, your going out, your families. Have a lovely time. I'll see you next time.